Towns County man fails to register as a sex offender again and could face 10 years in jail. A criminal investigator says it's not something the department runs into often, but it does happen from time to time. Our Jory Talley has more. Mounds County criminal investigator Lieutenant Tony Cooper says there are a little over 100 convicted registered sex offenders in the county. 34 year old Joe Taylor is one of them, and on Wednesday he was arrested and booked into jail. He had failed to re register. And two, when we went to, we had two different addresses possible for him. One of them we found didn't, didn't even exist um, in Lowndes County. And the second one, he had moved and failed to notify the Department of Public Safety that he was moving. Taylor is already under indictment for previously failing to register, and now he's failed to do it again. The state of Mississippi sets a maximum sentence of five years in state penitentiary for, for failure to report or failure to register. Cooper says for the most part, it's not that difficult to keep sex offenders registered. They know uh, the date is stamped on their cards when they go to register. And it tells them that every 90 days you must re register and actually has their re registration date on their card. Um, so, for the most part, most of them know when their 90 days is expired and they're at the highway patrol station doing their re-registration. Anytime a sex offender moves or gets a new address, they have to update their information with the state. And offenders only have a certain amount of time to do so. We've got a handful of items that uh, you know, addresses, phone numbers, things like that, that we try our best to keep up with. And the Highway Patrol, um, when they come into re-registration, they ask them all the information so that they can change it in the system and then they email me uh, a copy of all the changes. This list is on the Mississippi Department of Public Safety website, and it's how Cooper keeps up with the registered sex offenders in the area. Once your name lands on it, it stays on there because the Magnolia State has a lifetime registration. The addresses and everything are compliant. It tells me if, if somebody's non-compliant, which would be uh, somebody that's outside their 90 days, mm -hmm. they would show up on the site and then Jackson would also send me a letter telling me, you know, we have a violator and then it's my responsibility to go find them. Mississippi sets 16 rules on sex offenders and any violation of those rules can net a five-year sentence.